Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the second group of protozoans which are termed as Sarcodina. Before this, we have talked about the first group which has been termed as the zooflagellates and we have seen that they have the presence of a locomotory organ which is the flagella. Now let's see what are these Sarcodina. Sarcodina, they are also termed as the amoebide protozoans because of the fact that they have characteristics or mostly they are like amoeba. So they are amoeba like cells, hence they are also called as amoeboid protozoans. They can be uninucleated or they can also be multinucleated. They are mostly found in fresh water or they and some of the some of the types of these type of sarcodina they can also be found in the marine type of environments they are endoparasites which means they are dependent on some host organisms for their nutrition and they mostly reside inside the body or inside the cells of these type of host organisms and they are also pathogenic which means they can harm the host in which they are actually residing the locomotory organ here is pseudopodia or false feet. Let's see how a pseudopodia looks like. So suppose if this is a cell, now this the protoplasm of the cell, it shows some outgrowth like this. So these two are basically, these extensions are basically the pseudopodia. Now these pseudopodia, they are also called as false feet. Pseudopodia, obviously they help in locomotion and in addition to that, they also help in capturing of food. How? Suppose if uh, this is a cell and in the environment there is a uh, food material, if this is the food particle. So what happened? This pseudopodia, it grows out and it actually engulfs the food material and slowly and steadily it engulfs it and takes it within the body of the organism. So these pseudopodia or false feet, they help in locomotion, in addition to that, they help in capturing of food. They are heterotrophic in nutrition which means they cannot make their own food because of a, a simple fact that they do not have photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll and they, are, they can also be holozoic in nutrition like feeding habits like those of animals. They take in food as a whole so they are holozoic in nutrition. The mode of reproduction is mostly asexual reproduction which can happen by binary fission or multiple fission. We know what is binary fission. Here the parent cell it equally divides into two daughter cells. The cytoplasmic content is equally divided into these two new daughter cells. Whereas what is multiple fission? Multiple fission means that a, from a single parent num numerous amounts of cells will be formed. It is more than two. So this is known as multiple fission. Here some sort of sexual reproduction also can occur by the process of syngamy. Now what is syngamy? Syngamy is nothing but two cells fuse together and it forms a diploid zygote. So it can also reproduce sexually. So in this video we have talked about a group of uh, protozoans which are known as sarcodina. Why are they called so? Because of the because they are amoeboid type of cells and they have a presence of locomotory organ which is known as false feet or also as pseudopodia. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.